Lexi Maitland, and I am going to walk you guys through how easy it was for me to walk into Titan Medical Center, get my blood work done, and also meet for a consultation to analyze that blood work. So first and foremost, the atmosphere, the people here at Titan Medical, they are top notch, they are so welcoming, and immediately I felt welcomed from the time I walked in here. When I got here, I came in about a week after I had gotten my blood work done, I scheduled a consult and I was able to sit down with the nurse practitioner and go through all of my blood work in depth. She explained all of my questions that I had and I was able to leave feeling extremely confident about the therapies that they prescribed for me. I would honestly recommend anybody to Titan Medical Center. Just the whole experience in general was fabulous. So whether you are a bodybuilder like me looking to take things to the next level and optimize your health, or you're just somebody out there who wants to optimize your internal health to the best of your ability, I would recommend reaching out to Titan Medical Center. You can call or text 727-389 3220 or you can visit titanmedicalcenter.com and they will get you set up from there. Let me break down what hormone replacement therapy is. It's the balancing and optimization of the hormones that are in your body today. That's right, both males and females have all the exact same hormones, just at different levels in their body. And this really makes us tick tock all the way through from our sleep patterns, to our metabolism, glucose levels in our body can be affected. Obviously our libido, brain function, let's think about those receptors there too as well. Lean muscle mass and tissue. So this is gonna help in a variety of different ways. And when we talk about hormones, it's something that we should really consider about getting a blood test for first. This is really gonna tell you guys what's going on inside of your body, the true diagnostics for yourself. Because we can look on the outside of our body and we can tell what's wrong and what's not wrong, but we can't really look inside of us, right? So that's where the blood test really comes into play. It really shows us what's going on, and then we can make an educated decision about what we really want to do. And being paired with the right medical provider can make a world of difference on how you're going to feel and your quality of life. And that's a really big thing that you should be getting out of hormone replacement therapy. It should be improving your quality of life all the way around, from your personal life to your business life to your business in the bedroom too as well. I mean, these things from mental health, physical health, and sexual health, covering all those different aspects and hormones can truly make the difference in all different levels. When we talk about depression, I'm going to give you a guy's example from, you know, my point of view. Most guys, you know, when they start hitting 30, 40 years old, start slowing down a little bit. Energy is really not there. They're more tired and lethargic than ever. They're putting on more body weight than they ever have. And they haven't changed their eating patterns and they still are physically active. And with all this, things are changing. Their body's changing. Like I said, they don't have the energy. And at that point, libido function can be down too as well. And then they got foggy thinking. So in all aspects of your life, I mean, everything's going downhill, right? At that point, this could also cause depression. Even if everything is perfect in your life and you're still feeling down or unmotivated, this could be because of hormones. You could have a deficient or decline in some of the major hormones like testosterone per se, and this can make that effect even worse. Now usually people, when they don't feel good, they go into a general practitioner and they tell a doctor, listen, I don't have energy, I don't feel as good as I used to, I'm feeling kind of down, there's nothing for me to be down about, everything's going great, I just feel depressed. Libido's not working, you know, so my wife is having some issues, her girlfriend, and they're, they're asking me what's going on, and I just don't know what to tell them. I'm kind of embarrassed about this, right? There's nothing to be embarrassed about. It's a medical condition, and that's how you should treat it. And like I said, the first step is to get the blood test. And the blood test is gonna really, really, truly tell you what's going on and what you need to fix. So guys, don't believe all the myths about hormone replacement therapy. You might hear the term steroids, or any of these other things, like testosterone, as far as that goes. There's nothing negative about testosterone at all. 
especially bioidentical hormones. If they're identical to the hormones that are in your body already, you should have no issues. And having these at safe levels and being monitored by a true medical professional that knows what they're doing with your hormones. Because even let's talk about testosterone. If your testosterone is low and you supplement testosterone, especially as a male, this can aromatize into estrogen. And you want to make sure you have that covered too as well. So when I talk about, let's say testosterone, I do talk about hormone replacement therapy because it's a replacement of all the different hormones and balancing all these different hormones. Supplementing one hormone is not going to fix the rest of them and it can cause an imbalance with the other hormones if it's not balanced correctly. Think of your body as an ecosystem. The system needs to be precise and everything needs to work in hand or harmonic balance for you to feel your best and to feel optimal and perform optimal. Believe me, I've been doing it for 10 years myself and I feel like a million bucks almost every day that I wake up and I'm truly performing at my optimal levels every day, I believe. So guys, do yourself a favor. Call or text 727-389-3220 and tell the staff at Titan Medical Center that John sent you and that you want to get scheduled for a blood test to see what's going on inside your body. All right. I appreciate all you guys tuning in. I hope this conversation has helped. I'll see you guys later. What's up guys, John here and uh, we're at Titan headquarters and today we're going to do the Hercules Potion experiment. Well that's going to be where me, Andre and Big Drew are going to inject Hercules Potion 30 minutes before we go have an arm workout today. And with these guys it's going to probably be pretty intense. But we're going to do biceps and triceps today. We're going to see what the difference is pre-workout and after our workout. Um, and I think you're going to be able to tell the difference too as well. Um, if you can't, trust me, the pump is real for sure. Plus, we're going to get a lot of recovery out of glutamine. Arginine and L-citrulline are going to provide that awesome pump that's a long-lasting pump. 
I'm not talking about 15 minutes. I'm talking about four to six hours, right? You're also gonna have ornithine in there. Ornithine is gonna be an anti-fatigue amino acid, which is gonna let you go longer and stronger all the way through whatever you're doing, any strenuous activity. Also, lysine. So we gotta help build that immune system or put strain on it. If you're working out or you're doing any strenuous activity, you're putting strain on your body, which is putting strain on your immune system. You wanna make sure that thing is built up and fortified. We're gonna go on to NAC. So we wanna protect that liver. We wanna make sure that liver is working properly and filtering everything through it like it should, okay? The next thing after that, proline. Proline is gonna lubricate some of those joint areas. It's a collagen-based amino acid. You're also gonna have taurine in there, which is gonna help for cramping and brain function too as well. And the last one is L-carnitine. So L-carnitine is gonna help all the way through the body. Blood flow, muscle pump, everything included with all these things in one little injection. That's right, so one little insulin needle filled with 100 units, that's the full insulin needle, one ML, is gonna provide you with all those benefits that we just talked about. So today we have these things loaded up where we're gonna inject some Hercules potion and we're gonna go train. Now with that point, the first thing you should do is, is obviously you need to fill out your new patient paperwork. The second thing is you'll have your medical consultation with a provider. At that point, he'll go through all your medical history, all your questions, your goals, whatever you're trying to achieve. And then at that point, you can talk about purchasing Hercules potion for yourself. So after you get Hercules potion and you get it in the mail or you know, by the pharmacy, you're gonna clean the top after you pop that top, right? Clean it. After that point, you're gonna get your insulin syringe, decap it, and pull down to the 100 units. Okay, real simple, real easy. Okay, you're gonna let that little alcohol dry in there for like 30 seconds. Now you're gonna go straight into the gray stopper right in the center, and you're gonna push in the air that you pulled down to. That's how much you're gonna inject on and you're gonna pull this down. It should come out very easy. Just keep that needle in there straight with the syringe. Don't try to jerk it around or anything like that. You're gonna fill this bad boy up. Like I said, it doesn't take too long. So once you get to that 100 units mark, you're gonna pull it out straight. Down, and grab it. Take it three times, four times. Get out the little air. Now there's little air bubbles in there. It's not gonna kill you. You're not injecting this into a vein. Okay, this is gonna go intramuscular. Now, a lot of people have questions about that too. Like, that little needle is gonna get through all the way into my muscle? Well, yes, it will. In most places in your muscles, you can definitely get there. Um, your deltoid is probably gonna be the most optimal spot if you've never done an injection before. Um, it's probably a lenous area. And this will work, right, systemically. So throughout the body. So wherever you inject it, you're still gonna get the benefits. Now, if you want more instant gratification, you can inject directly into the muscle you're training that day. It's going to help you, trust me, and you're gonna feel more intense pumps than you probably ever felt before. So at that point, you're gonna be ready to go. Now, just load up that Hercules potion, inject it, and get yourself to training. Stop that. Stop that. Cold like zero degrees I'm out the cage, gotta let out the beast Revolutionary guy, let out the streets Locked in a cage, I'ma let out the Let out the, let out the Wake up, get out the sheets We came for one man, forget my peace You take the west, I'll take on the east I'ma put him in a cage, never let out the Let out the, let out the yeah. I hear him chat to the noise Move too quick, can't stop for the talking I hear him chat with the boys Man so tough, but man's keep walking, yeah Just too sharp with the prize White girls, let her tell me I'm awesome, yeah Beg, please get on your knees. Came from the jungle, up in the trees. I got a few tricks up in the sleeve. One wrong move, I'ma let out the. Let out the. Let out the. Big shoes, check out the crease. Blow like I'm big foot, step on the beat. Make a man's run till he step out the cleats. When the whole place scream, gotta get out the. Get out the. Yeah. I, I hear him chat to the noise. Move too quick, can't stop for the talking. I hear him chat with the boys. Not so tough, but man's keep walking. Yeah. Just too sharp with the prize. White girls, let her tell me I'm awesome. Yeah. Hot like fire on the Stop that. Stop that. Stop that. Stop that. Yeah, I hear 
am trapped in the noise. Can't stop at the talking. I am trapped with the boys. Eyes, eyes keep walking, yeah. Just too sharp with the boys. Let the girl tell me I'm awesome, yeah. Hot like fire on a pine. If you wanna touch my please use caution. What's up, guys? John here. I'm Sharice. And we are back with another Cubist Corner. So every <laughs> week, me and this little beautiful thing over here are giving you guys great tips, tricks, and information that will hopefully enhance your relationship, take it to a whole new level, or reignite maybe those flames that have been diminished over time. And this encompasses a lot of different details in your life, too, in being in a relationship. Whether you're just starting off into your first couple of weeks, months, you know, with your new relationship, this could affect you. Or obviously when you get into a longer relationship with somebody and maybe the family comes about, this is what we're really gonna talk about today. Mm -hmm. So it's all about balancing things, okay? And you know, in our, your life, you're gonna balance a couple different things. Right off the bat, you're gonna balance your own personal life and work life. You should be having a job and you're gonna definitely have to balance things outside of there. But once you get in a relationship, then you have the relationship part, you have the job part, right? And you have the personal part for your own self-being. And then you're gonna have the kid part. Yeah. So you're gonna- You think as they're getting older, it'd be easier, right? No, it's <laughs> definitely more attention. They always say, you know, honestly, when they're little, they get attention, but when they're, you know- Sleeping. Growing, getting older, they're gonna be able to get more attention because they're gonna be able to talk, interact, have more energy, and they're gonna be about. And with this is growth. You know, with kids, especially in our situation, they're going to want to be into activities, hopefully. And these activities can range from anything from sports to cheerleading to step to band, uh, whatever it is, right? I just I mentioned that because she was in step when she was in high I school. Did step. Was, right? yes, so, I did step. So, you know, it could be a lot of different activities, and you want your kids to be in these different activities. Even if, you know, you've been out of the marriage or you didn't get married and, listen, you guys had a kid together, you still got a parent. And with this parenting, you know, you want to still give your kids the best life, right? Uh, and you want to push them into activities because obviously activities are going to be great for the kid, um, great for social skills, right? Um, if they're in sports, it's great competitiveness. It shows them, you know, if they win and they really, really work really hard, they can do really, really great things. Uh, these are really, really important. But with all this and great pushing them in and them doing excellent and excelling these different things, comes time. Mm -hmm. And with time, especially us in yeah. our example. We don't have any time. Um, you know, it's, it's been, you know, it's, it's, it's been kind of a challenge or a lot more time dedicated to being more involved in peer sports. And, you know, obviously he's playing basketball, baseball, and all these different things. Well, right now it's baseball. And baseball, we're doing great. So we're on a winning streak, coaching, 
And at that point, it's been the last three weeks, like Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, with games. Double headers, three headers, whatever you call it, every day, all day. Uh, you know, ah. so we've been winning. So at that point, <laughs> we're going down to States this week, which another Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday event for Fourth of July weekend. Usually we're chilling on the beach, family time, kind of hanging out and, you know, just enjoying the sun. Oh, you we'll know, be enjoying the sun. We'll be enjoying the sun. <laughs> yep. But we will hopefully be hopefully <laughs> enjoying some competitiveness and hopefully winning this tournament out there. But with this comes the balance of time. And, you know, for me and Sharice, listen, we don't have time as it is. And we're the owners. So luckily, you know, if we need to, we could probably, you know, schedule the time to go do it, which we have. But for the regular average day person, that's a little bit tougher, right? Because you have a job, you have different hours, you have to work. You know, since the whole thing that's went on, I mean, there are people that work from home and can make their own schedules now a little bit more lenient as far as that goes. But it is, it's tough all the way around. You still got to work and still got to make. I mean, I was buck. asking the question of like, you know, this is our first go around for these different, you know, leagues and all stars, this all star, that this other stuff that's going on in World Series and yada, yada. But it's like, you know, from Wednesday to Sunday, and it's two day, like it's two games or three games in a whole day, it takes up, I mean, from 11, back to back to back to back, all the way to six o'clock at night. And I'm just like, what, what? I'm sitting, I'm like, where are these parents? Do they just get time off? Yeah. I know if my employees, not for nothing, if you worked at Titan, getting yeah. time off is incredibly difficult. Yeah. But if you asked me to take all that time off, I, I would probably deny half of it. Yeah. I mean, unless you planned on not taking any more time for the rest of the year. Yeah. So I couldn't even imagine if you asked to do it like three weeks in a row, I'd be like, no. Yeah. So I'm wondering how are these parents doing it? Because some of them, both of them show up. I guess some of them do show up after work and they try to balance it a little bit. Yeah. You know, it's hard too because, you know, they're at that age where like they're looking for you like yeah. in the bleachers or for yeah. John, he's the coach. Yeah. So, you know, I mean, they're looking to see like, hey, are you there? Do I want to make sure? Because I know when I was growing up, my parents didn't make it to everything. They made it to some things, yeah. but they didn't make it to everything. And, you know, you were out in the bleachers waving to anybody because there was no one to wave to, you know. So, you know, they're lucky if they if they get that if they get that privilege, yeah, you know, absolutely. and it's tough, though. It's tough to balance it all, you know work, being, especially being an entrepreneur. I mean, whether you can make your own schedule or not, sometimes it's totally irrelevant whether you can make your schedule or not. You're, this schedule, for me, unfortunately, it's making me. Like, I'm having to go around this schedule and do things I'm not normally typically used to doing. So it's been a little bit of an acclimation for me, you know, the baseball thing. And, you know, they, they had this baseball mom thing. I, I'm sure that, you know, some of you guys might be out there. I'm sure plenty of sports have it. Or, if you know, the guy's coaching – the wife takes over and they bring cookies and maybe they wash clothes at these things or, you know, I don't know. There's a couple questions I've been asked where I'm like, what? <laughs> you, 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 I'm sorry, cookies? I'm like, oh, I mean, I can Instacart them here if that makes it easy for you guys, you know. But it's been, it's definitely been different for me because, you know, I, I, I'm a workaholic. I work a lot. You know, that takes away a little bit from the home, you know, portion of it, which, you know, John's been extra, extra helpful throughout the years and very understanding. Um, but, you know, it's just, it's kind of crazy because I'm like, I feel a little lost sometimes. Like, uh, yeah, sure. I'll jump right on that. <laughs> it's been crazy. It is, it is, it a is little crazy. crazy. It is crazy. And listen, it's hard to do. Um, you know, but the end result, think about this. It is, the end result's much bigger. The end result right? is a lot bigger. That's what keeps me going. It will literally impact your child's life for the rest of their life. Mm -hmm. They'll always look back on it, and they might not be as grateful now. Rascal. But later on in life, they will be grateful for that, and they'll have those memories, and so will you. Mm -hmm. um, so that that's a big part of it. I think that that's, that's a huge part of things, and it's the sacrifices that you make now, right? And this is one sacrifice. Now, at that point, you still got to worry about personal, your relationship, too, with your health, wife, loved your one. Your health, right? And, and your health. And, you know, health is not just being healthy and going to the doctor, right? Like your mental health. Like I'll give you an example. I mean, John, right? Yeah. His mental health, and he doesn't ask for much, is to get a workout in, right? Mm -hmm. And over these past few weeks, he hasn't been able to work out. I'm surprised he hasn't blown up into, you know, rah, like Incredible Hulk. I'm sure it's inside. It's inside, you see. It's, it's in inside. There. It's in there. It's inside of here. In oh, there. this is so nice. Yeah. So I'm saying, though, you know, it's in, it, health comes down to many things. Mental health, yes. emotional health, you know, just sexual, it, health, yeah. sexual health. All of mm -hmm. that goes in hand in hand. So it's a lot of balancing, guys. But, I mean, definitely looking at the bigger picture, I mean, it's obviously – 
I mean, I'll tell you, whenever we won districts, and that was that was cool because John came in, and I'm sure he won't. He's not going to tell you the story, but I will. So he came in as the underdog, right? And he was a brand new coach, basically. We'll call it that. And you know, the new kid on the block. Little did everybody know is John's a really good baseball player, mm-hmm. and he played ball in college. Yeah. So um, they don't need to know that though. That just gave him one head, one one step ahead in the back end. So. He goes and he coaches the whole season. We literally went undefeated except for one game. So we basically, what was it, 14 and 1? 14 and 1. I mean, Should have had that one too. I mean, it would have been. Uh, beat that team I, once. That's a, the guy coming in. And everybody's like, "Who is this guy?" Right? And not to mention, we bought a banner, right? The tight medical banner with our faces on it, which is hilarious. I mean, this is funny because we live a funny life, and I, I love to share the funny things with you because it's hilarious, right? So we are on this banner that's inside the baseball field. So I know they all know who we are, and they see him, and then the kids are connecting it with the billboard, and they're like, "Oh, look who's this!" Da, 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 da. Okay, cool. So. Now he's like, you know, he comes in. He's like, who's this guy? Wins all these games. We go to districts, knock it out of the park. It wasn't easy. Knock it out of the park. And it was so cool because, like, you know, it's like it's this type of, like, this type of feeling that you don't, like, you, it, it's just, it's a rewarding feeling. But to get, like, all the kids and just, like, it's almost to make you want to cry. Like, oh, my God, I can't believe we did it, right? Funny part is, you know, we were so excited that day, right? This is real funny. We were so excited that day. <laughs> <laughs> and it's not his fault, but it was funny, not really. But we, I went to him and I jumped up because I was like, you know, super excited. And I like jumped up and gave him a really big hug and he squeezed me real tight. You know, the kids were throwing water all over the place and stuff, all excited. Yeah, 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 we won. Right? And I just so happened to have dropped my phone. Now, this is movie stuff, right? I dropped my phone on the ground and, you know, John is getting crazy. He's like jumping around like, yeah, 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 we won. Yeah, you know, he was getting hard, right? And I am literally like, <gasps> I went like that, looked at the ground, and then boom, so he was crashing up, just smashed it in little tiny pieces. I'm like, oh, oh my goodness. And I think probably like five other parents and kids saw this go down, and they're like, uh, your phone is not okay. And I'm like, no. And I literally tried to like reach for it one more time just so it wasn't torn. <laughs> because if he came down that phone one more time, it would not have been working, 100%. Yeah. But it was just the excitement. I'm like, whatever, I'll figure it out. There's another phone in my purse, of course. I have two phones. So I'm like, you know, it's it's irrelevant. I don't care. This is just so cool to just see it all happen, right? Definitely worth it. So <laughs> make your moments with your kids too as well. Cool and moments. push them to play, right? Be active in life. That's what it's all about. Guys, another tip and trick just from us to you, balance your time wisely. Work, play, your relationship, and your family. Guys, catch us every Sunday, 11 a.m. You'll see us here on ABC. Guys, DVR us if you're not there live, and make sure you guys go to YouTube and check out all our great content. Just type in Titan Medical Center, and you'll see us, more great content about our therapies that can help you guys feel better, look better, and perform better every single day of your life. See you guys next Sunday. See you then.